I bring you greetings from the campus of Southern Nazarene University, the Marchant Family Alumni and Welcome Center. Specifically, I'm in the second floor of the Alumni Conference Room today. I want to say thanks to all of our alumni and our friends who have been so gracious to us in recent days. As you know, these are challenging times for, for all of us, for, for our whole world, and certainly we're feeling that here on the campus of Southern Nazarene University. We appreciate your, your prayers, your texts, your emails, your phone calls, all the encouragement that we've received from alumni that literally are scattered all around the world, serving our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to tell you just a quick story. A few weeks ago, I was sitting right here in this chair, in this conference room. I was participating uh, as a member of the Foundation Board for Southern Nazarene University, a group that's done so much to support our institution. Uh, we were having an executive committee meeting, and uh, while I was sitting right here, I was enjoying this room. I was enjoying the photos that are scattered around this room. There's some great pictures of days gone by, long before I ever knew anything about SNU, and I'm guessing before most of you did as well. There's a photograph of Central Nazarene University in Hamlin, Texas. Another one of Brzee College from Hutchinson, Kansas. Texas Holiness University in Penile. And then there's some photos from uh, our campus here now, buildings that no longer exist, uh, buildings that uh, have been torn down across the years. Bud Robinson Building, McConnell Hall. As I was sitting, participating in this meeting, I scanned the room and I saw uh, albums. I saw yearbooks from days gone by. And I specifically uh, came in contact with a particular book that I'd never seen before. It's right over here on this shelf. I could only see a part of it, the spine of uh, the book, but it captured my attention, caught my eye. So as soon as the meeting was over, I slipped over and pulled it off the shelf. This book, Southern Nazarene University looks back on a century of people's history of SNU, written by Dr. Paul Gresham and Dr. Lauren Gresham, father and son. Now, I had seen a shorter version of this book, but I discovered over the course of the next day, actually the next few hours, and, and certainly the last few weeks, some fascinating facts about our history from days gone by. Uh, there are so many stories about uh, some great times in our university's history and also some really, really tough times. I read the story from the 1930s when there was something called the Lifesaver Plan, a time when uh, friends, alumni, uh, donors, uh, churches uh, made pledges, a dollar a month, the Lifesaver Plan, to try and sustain the institution. And you know what? They did. Fast forward to the 1970s and you'll discover, if you read this book, that there was a plan called the Five Steps for Meaningful Survival. Imagine that, meaningful survival. And again, it was a plan that was designed to sustain the institution so that we could enjoy what we're enjoying even now. For 121 years, SNU has been serving students and serving our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we were filming this uh, message to you today, I came across a, an album Notice the title of this album, In Times Like These. It's an album that dates back to November the 24th, 1967, Bethany Nazarene College Homecoming Concert. I can't help but think that uh, this title, In Times Like These, is certainly apropos for what we're experiencing right now. Every year, SNU chooses a verse of the year, a verse that we focus on, a verse that we talk about, uh, in chapel, in residence halls, in faculty meetings, in small group sessions. This year our verse is Matthew 6:33, taken right from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. You know the verse, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. We believe with all our heart that those words were true then and they're true now. So we're doing all we can to seek first Jesus and his kingdom. Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for praying for us. These are days where we find ourselves stronger together. Always been true, still true today. Together, we'll get through this.